Let's find the limit as x goes to pi over 2 of cosine squared x over 1 minus sine x. As, as a math person, my first instinct is to say, oh, let's just plug in 1 hat, pi over 2 rather, to here and to here. But if I did that, I would get 0 over 0, which means that I don't really know what the limit is yet. So I can't do that. I can't just plug it in. My next instinct is to say, oh, look, that looks really that looks like something I'd want to get rid of by multiplying by the conjugate of it. Because that's just a trick that I know a lot of times we, I have to do just from my history with mathematics. So let's just see what happens. Let's, let's, we call that following our nose. Let's just see if that is the right thing to do. When I do that, when I multiply these two things together, I get a really nice thing. 1 minus sine squared of x which reminds me of something, and I'm just going to write this. Don't, don't simplify that anymore, or I should say don't complicate it anymore by, by foiling it out, because what is this thing here going to turn into? Doesn't that look familiar to you? Do you remember sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1? So this is 1 minus cosine squared equals, I'm sorry, 1 minus sine squared equals cosine squared. So this thing just equals cosine squared x, which then I can cancel those out and I just get 1 plus sine of x and now well, remember I'm taking the limit of all that stuff so what's the limit as x goes to pi over 2 of that we'll plug pi over 2 in here and you'll get 2 th right this is 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 and that's your answer 2